Good afternoon, Houston. This is attorney Anthony Push from the Push and Win Law Firm wishing you all a safe drive home. But in the event you do get involved in an accident, you know who to call. 833-PUSH-WIN. We push, you win. Discretion is always advised because it can get heated when somebody's getting payback. Go to KRBE.com and contact us and tell us what happened in your world that brings you to revenge or has brought you to revenge because you've already gotten your revenge. We're just going to find out why you sought it out and how you got it. So we're going to welcome John to the show, and he's going to tell us all about it. Good morning, John. Good morning, guys. Hey, John. So uh, what's happened? Why do you need to be on Revenge with us? Because I totally got screwed by this psycho girl. <laughs> I got divorced a little while ago. It was traumatic. My circle of friends kind of dwindled down to like a handful of people. Uh, one of them, uh, her name was Carla. She was really nice, and she treated me nicely. And we kind of started sleeping together. But she said, this is only like a friends with benefit situation. We're not dating. This is just friends. But of course, I'd start to develop feelings here and there. That's very common to happen. Usually you hear about the girl developing the feelings and it's the guy. But you know what? It, it was the first person you were with after your yeah. marriage. So, okay, you're vulnerable. Either, okay. You're going to go one way or the other. So what? Mm-hmm. You started getting caught up emotionally with Carla. And what happened? Yeah. I told her, you know, hey, I know you didn't want this, but I have develop feelings for you and I tried to couch it well I didn't try to like oh I love you let's be together forever no just some tiny feelings and she blew up at me she's like I told you I didn't want to do this we're not dating how dare you and then she like started like yelling at me and then didn't talk to me for a while I did not see that coming at all it was crazy okay all of a sudden I find out through a friend of mine that she eloped with her fiance three weeks before what I was the other man, basically. She got married three weeks later. I mean, because she said nothing, right? You had no idea that she was engaged, had another guy in her life, nothing, nothing, nothing. That was purely innocent. She's single, you're single, let's go. Yeah, I had no idea. She wasn't wearing her ring around me, so I had no idea. But here's the worst part. Carla started bad-mouthing me to all of my remaining friends about how John was trying to you know, get me away from my fiancé. He kept hitting on me even after I told him I was engaged and she just wouldn't leave me alone. So all of my friends at this point now think I'm a creep trying to break her up with her fiancé. This Carla girl was in your circle of friends, or she was totally new to your circle of friends? She was my circle of friends, and she got kind of introduced to the other circle of friends that I had because, I mean, those worlds didn't really collide. You meet this girl. She doesn't really know a lot of your other friends, but she was one of your friends previously. You guys start a physical friends with benefits relationship. And all of a sudden, you tell her that something is happening. You're feeling something for her. She explodes on you, and then you find out she's married three weeks later. And she goes around and tells all your friends that you're a psycho stalking her out. She was doing damage control, wasn't she? Exactly. Where are we at this point now? Well, guys, we have Carla. She's on hold right now talking to Special K. Mm -hmm. She can't hear anything that's going on with John and you guys, but uh, she wants to talk to you. She has no idea who wants to talk to her. All right. Welcome to the Rule and Ryan Show in 104.1 KRBE. Good morning. Is this Carla? Yeah, hi. Hi, Hi, Carla. Carla. We do a segment on the show called Revenge. Do you know about that? Uh, No, I don't. Mm. Well, it's a segment, Carla, where somebody has come to us to tell us uh, something that happened in his or her life. John is the person that contacted us that knows you. John, why don't you go ahead and say hi and and fill Carla in on what's happening. Hi, Carla. Hey, John. You badmouthed me to all of my friends and made them think I'm some type of crazy psycho stalker trying to break up your relationship with your now husband that I didn't know you had. John, you need to get over it. I was over this whole thing until you started telling everybody that I was trying to you and your fiancé. Your fiancé I didn't know that you were engaged to when we were That's exactly what we were doing, John. There was nothing on the line. We were just and that was it. It was no big deal. Wait, wait, wait. So, Carla, you're admitting that you were having relations with John. Well, and... you're engaged to get married to the other guy. Yeah. Well, I mean, we were just having fun. I was, you know, we we're nothing was settled yet, you know? I mean, yeah, John and I were just. And you felt nothing inappropriate about being engaged to another guy while you're doing it with your friend. Well, you don't need to know about any of this. It sounds from like from what John has told us. That enough people know you guys were hooking up to make me worried that my, my tail's not covered. You know, like, you're not worried at all that your newlywed husband is going to find out you were with another guy the whole time? John and I, like, we don't see each other. We don't need to. It's- oh, really? So then why should I call William and play him some of your voice messages that you left me when we were just having fun? Are you f- kidding? He'll kick your ass. 
I think he'd actually be grateful that I tell him how much of a giant f- his now wife is. Do you know how much evidence I have on my phone? You sent me a lot of information oh. that I'm sure he'd be happy to hear about. Oh, my God. Wow. Are you kidding right now? What's your deal right now, John? You know what, Carla? I feel vindicated because now everyone knows that you're a crazy psycho slut, and my good name has been vindicated, so I'm good. <laughs> I guess that's his revenge then, Carla. Um, you don't care to defend yourself in any way, shape, or form, do you? Oh, that is the last time I merced a loser. Yeah, maybe she's a merced a loser for six months before he got married, you dumb <laughs> <laughs> Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> okay, um I think we're done. I think uh, Carla hung up. Is she there? No, no Carla's she's gone. gone. John, I guess you did uh, get your revenge. Wow. wow. So, you know, it's out there now. Uh William's going to find out at some point today that this has happened between you two. I mean, how would you feel? Could you imagine though that if you found out your now spouse was sleeping with somebody else right up until the point where you guys got married? I uh, don't think it would be a marriage. No, that would be an element no right there. Are you worried at all, John, that this guy might try and come after you? Because she could try and convince him, oh, he's a liar, he's a this. I mean, do you have your ammo? Do you have your text messages and your voicemails from her? Oh, yeah. I, there's, a, there's so much information on my phone. And hopefully that he's, he's a responsible guy. And, you know, if I talk to him, be like, no, listen, actually, I'm trying to do you a favor. This woman is not to be trusted. Take a look at all of these things on my phone that he'll listen. And you really didn't know. You were completely blown out of the water. You did not have any idea that she had a man in her life. I had no clue. My friends asked me why I was you know, stalking her or whatever, and I was like, I had no idea what they were talking about. And then they told me everything that she was telling them. I was blown away. I couldn't believe it. My friends suddenly thought that I was crazy, that like, my divorce made me insane going after some uh, taken woman. It was, ridic- it was ridiculous. A lot of my friends listened to the show, so... Hopefully now everyone realizes that I'm the good one here. Well, I guess it's uh, her problem to deal with <laughs> yeah. now. Good you luck. feel better there, John? I hope we helped you out. This felt great. I really needed this. We're glad we could help. Have a great day, John. Take care. Thanks. You too. All right. Roland Ryan's Revenge. KRBE.com if uh, this is something you would like to reveal to the person that's missed, missed with you. Missed messed with you, not mixed you up. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> messed with you. Go to KRBE.com. Eric will get back with you. I think Next, we have to do... Uh, if you know, you know. We did this on Friday, but Sam, you were not here. I think I love uh, this game now. This is fun. It's three things, uh-huh. and then we go around the room to see what do we think that person would pick. Like three things about you. Which one do we think Sam is going to do? Okay. And, and if you're in the car, you can play along. See, yeah. How well do you? Because you. How well do you know the characters on this show? Yeah, if you listen to that's us fine. all week, that's twenty hours a week times Correct. months and years. A lot years. of time together. Yeah. I know. They know the things that we forget about ourselves. Oh my God! I know, no, I know. for sure. If you know, you know. We're doing it next on the Rule and Ryan Show. This game is a lot of fun. If you know, you know. That's what it's called. Yep. And it's basically three three questions or three well, statements about each one of us. Or what, how do you work it, Eric? Is it facts? How would you describe it? I would say they're questions. Yeah, they're right? questions, and yeah. then you just have to. We have to all think of like, okay, we know how we would answer it, but this is about like Sam. How would she answer it? Mm-hmm. And how well do we know her? So we have to like, like write you don't it down. know me. Like on Friday, I, Ryan, I was like. I got three. He was three, three, three. Him. Eric pretty oh, much had good. all of us down. Eric knew yeah. me more than anybody yeah. I got on the one show. one wrong, and that was Kevin, because I thought he listened to music on his when he's driving long around. Long drive. Mm-hmm. He's he listens audio to audiobooks. Do you know this, Sam? Yeah. On long drives, Kevin chooses to listen to audiobooks. Would you have gotten that? If it was between that and music... Yeah. I think it would depend on where we were going. There's a lot of... I don't know if I would have gotten that one right. He's trying to yeah. better himself. He's, like, listening to... Um, Real estate education. Because if we're education, going yeah. together, you're not yeah, listening no, to that. Not, but if uh-uh. you're doing it by yourself, I imagine can see if that you doing was that. it though. You guys are going to get us. We're not going to listen to some. Any I music. would put AirPods on and be like, <laughs> like get out of here. "Sorry, Dad. It's Saturday yeah. night. We're going partying. <laughs> we're on our way to the club." <laughs> Kevin's like, "I'm trying to make money." Okay. Rich, rich man, poor dad, or what is that one? Rich dad, poor dad. dad, poor dad. That is one of the books. Oh, geez. So it's if you know, you know. Here on the Real and Ryan Show. So who's going to go first? And Ma's going to ask the question. Yes. Go ahead. So we're going to start off with Ryan. We're going to go around the table. Okay. We're going to go in the order of the table. Okay. Okay. So. On average, at what time do you guys think Ryan goes to bed? A, 9 o'clock, B, 10 o'clock, C, 11, or D, midnight? Um, All right, I'm going to answer down. All right, I say 10. Yeah, I was going to say between 10 and 11. I'll, <laughs> or 9, I'll 9 lean, to 10. I'll lean 10. I'm going 9. I'm going 11. Also, he said something yesterday yeah. that... that Stuck out about that. Oh, yeah. Huh. Nine, ten, or eleven. Day. Kevin usually, says nine, Eric I and I say ten, and Sam says eleven. What I time? I usually crawl into bed at ten, read for half an hour, so ten thirty. So 
Oh, no, 10 o'clock time? hour. 10, 10, yeah. yeah. 10 o'clock hour. So that gets mm-hmm. the point. 10. Ish. I said between 10 and 11. Yeah. Ah, right. Sorry, That's 11 to lose. By 11, he's already sawing logs. <laughs> yeah. He sounds like a night terror cat. Are we keeping track? Yep. Yeah. Yes, we okay. are. I think I got his ear. Okay. All right. Okay. How many sh- pairs of shoes do you guys think Ryan owns? A, three or less. B, four to eight. C, nine to 13. Or D, 14 plus. Ooh. D. Mm. Yeah. I have, I have half D. of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would say C because Kevin has... All of his pairs. I'm saying D. D. Yes. Definitely. You're D. saying 14 plus? Yes. Oh, he may yeah. not wear all of them, yeah. but he definitely has more than 14 pairs of shoes. For sure. Yeah, he has a shoe issue. How many? Boots alone? Less. How many cowboy boots oh, do you have? I have, have eight pairs of, oh, I have eight actually, pairs of cowboy boots. I have to go high. Yeah. I have to go high. We yeah, all go yeah, D then. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's D. It's way over 14. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I got eight pairs of cowboy boots. Yeah. How many total would you say you have? Like 30? 40 total 100, pairs 100. of shoes. Really? Dang. Take Yellow. a picture. Will you take I a picture a, of your I have a lot of them are like vans and stuff, you know, like, you know, mm. just a lot of tennis shoes. You don't shoes. wear socks or no so sh- no show socks. Yeah. You don't wear those, right? Sometimes oh, I got to. stinky. Just, yeah, no they get, they, when they get stinky, stinky they go bye-bye. Stinky. <laughs> <laughs> I have one more for Ryan. Let's see. I'm going to go right. three for three here. All right, let's see. The worst trouble Ryan has gotten into in school was A, detention, B, suspension, C, expulsion, or D, nothing. I don't even know why I said nothing. Which <laughs> ages? <laughs> it means I didn't get into trouble, I guess. Which, yeah. which ages? Because as a child, he was a choir boy. Remember, he never missed a day of school until he threw up that one time because he wouldn't I, go to school. School, school in time. general. School Just in overall. general. I won't say yeah. expelled because that means mm. he, but he was. I'll say detention. No, I say, he was just, one time. I say suspension. I go detention. Suspended. Y'all say suspended. I say to, detention. Oh, yeah. Suspended for sure. He went to that one school for bad kids. Did he? Well, I'm but how did he get in there? Did he Lamar? get suspended to go into that school? So three suspensions and one detention. What's the answer? No, it's detention. I never went to an alternative school. Oh, you but you didn't get suspended? You never got suspended? Mm-hmm. No, I never got no. suspended. Oh, really? The worst right. thing that, the yeah. worst thing that ever thing happened. The thing he did at the, at the pools wasn't a school-related function. That wasn't school-related. The worst thing I ever did was on the school bus, I threw liquid paper out the window. Yeah, and, I thought you got to, then you had to go to some school that was... I was given the choice place. of either going to alternative school or I had to pick up trash in the parking lot for one month with a little pokey stick, and I chose the pokey stick. Detention. And I was humiliated. I should have gone to alternative oh, school. Man. It would have looked cooler. Yeah. <laughs> Instead, everybody called me the janitor. Yeah. I was walking around that <laughs> stick poking up. Which there's know, nothing trash. wrong with anyone being a janitor. I didn't do mm-hmm. good with you. Unless you're 15. Yeah. No, when you're no 15, is a janitor boy is what everybody called me. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, I thought so, I had that one. Two for Eric, three for me. Sam, did you get one there? I got one. Just got one. the shoes. And Kevin, you got I, one also I, for the shoes. Yes. All right. Eric is next. Who, or me next. Who's you're next. next Sam's Rula. next. Okay. All right. All right three things Rula. about me. We're doing If You Know, You Know here on the Rula and Ryan Show. I feel like it's a little easy. How often do you think Rula calls Mama Christy? Almost every day, one or two times per week, or two times per month or less? That was easy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's every day. Yeah. Every, every day. day. Do you have one day. for every other hour? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> every day. Every day. What do you guys chit chat about? Or is she checking Kevin, up on Kevin, are you saying the same thing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. We all, all say that. All almost almost say every day is the answer. Yeah, almost yeah. every day. Almost Not every day. day. Mom, almost, I, need, almost. I need help. <laughs> help or at least one, save really, me. You know what it is really now? I always call to check in on her. She's not calling to check in on me always. I'm always like, hey, mom, what are you doing? And your folks get a little bit older. You need to check in on them. Yeah, she's like, living her doing? life. She's like, leave me you? alone. I'm busy. Yeah. I'm having fun. I'm busy. You need me? I got Zumba. I'm busy. You need me? <laughs> I can come right now if you want me to. Are you busy? You need me? I'm like, no, I'm good, mom. All right, so you all got a point there. There you Yay. go. All right. Next question about me. Let's see what y'all know. How many traffic tickets has Rula gotten in life? A, oh. zero, mm, B, yeah. one, C, two, or D, three plus. Three plus. Three plus. Easy. Three plus. I thought three it was going to be how many did she get if out of. If she hasn't got three plus, then <laughs> how she's. How many got out of is a way that's... better question. <laughs> yeah. That's what I that's would guess. That's hilarious. She... How many did y'all say? Out. She oh, definitely out. three plus. Uh, yeah. You think so? Sorry. At least three. In her life? Kevin, yeah. what are you saying? Oh, yeah, three plus. Certainly just, should. That was just last year. <laughs> Sam, what are you saying? Uh, I, uh, I. Ooh, is it three you? Plus? <laughs> yes. We're all all saying, of y'all are wrong. What? I only had two I'm tickets. I what? knew it. I've tickets. seen the way you drive. Okay. How is that possible? Because she gets out of two tickets. <laughs> yep. Really? Yep. Oh, one on the Beltway, man. one on I-10. So you talked your way mm. out of a lot of them. You better knock on some wood. Yep. Well, y'all are going to jinx me now. Yeah. 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 Hold on. When you drove over those stanchions? I got that. That's one. 
And did you get right. one a few weeks ago going to a game? Yeah. Oh, no, no, he let me out. Oh. He let us go. Mm. Give you a warning. Give us a warning. She was like, do you know who I am? Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do you know who I am? Don't you know who I am? I got two. Right, so I got two. Now. Knock on time wood. Another one. Here we go. All Next right. Next one. So at Learn summer it. barbecues, mm-hmm. are you going for the hot dogs, the hamburgers, or the chicken? Out of oh. those three. Which I was going to say, gonna we eat? need a, a D, all of the above, because we'll really take one bite <laughs> yeah. of each, yeah. and then that's it. <laughs> one bite. I'm going to say hamburger. Okay, I'm what do y'all say? If if it was hamburger, pick, hot dog, I'm sorry. And chicken. 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 If she had to pick out of those three, what's she going for I don't think first? I've ever seen her really grab a wiener. I'd, maybe a hot <laughs> hamburger. Oh, my gosh. Hamburger, yeah. Hamburger. 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 Kevin, what do you say? Agreed, saying? hamburger. Yeah, Sam, I'm going to go with chicken. No. If the answer was steak, it would have been steak. I know. I wish they had steak. If he had said steak instead of chicken, yeah. steak all the way. Right. But if I had to pick between a hamburger and a hot dog at a barbecue, I'm going burger. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So you got right. burger got point. Two, two out, out of three. All right. Eric's up next. Two out of three. All right. Yeah. Eric. All right. So when Eric is going to fly somewhere, how many hours does he usually show up before boarding time? Oh, there's the Hemi Zantac. <laughs> Zantac. 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 <laughs> two. Uh, <laughs> is he there less than an hour before, one to two hours before, or more than two hours before? <laughs> Are we keeping it domestic or international? Right. Um, so domestic domestic flights. Domestic. 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 Yeah. Uh, All right. I'm I'll saying say one to two. One to two. Yes. One to two. I say two plus. He gets such panties and a wad before a trip, and he will want to go sit in that special lounge that he has access to <laughs> yeah. and quote unquote relax before the flight drink. and get his dumps out and drink. <laughs> <laughs> two hours is enough. Out. Two so plus. I'm, I'm going two plus. All right, all right. Uh, what are you Sam? saying, Sam? One to two. One Me to two. too. I'm saying yeah. one to two. One so to three, two. one to two hours. One answer is two so hours the plus. The flight's like at noon. I've traveled. I got to leave before. my house like at like nine fifteen. Get there ten. So two hours. So two hours. Yeah, yeah. two hours. One yeah. to two. So one well, I would two do two. Uh, no, it no, would I'm be two, two plus. hours. I'm going to two plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, before you, yeah. yeah. Not there more than two hours. Because I like time. to get to the bar or get mm-hmm. to the United Club and get the free Enjoy drinks it. and food. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Next question. All right. So if Eric is eating a pop tart. He's going to go with either a s'mores flavor, b strawberry. Brown sugar, cinnamon, or D, blueberry? Are they all frosted, or are we talking about just the all actual frosted, filling? Regular old Pop-Tart, mm. but this is the feeling, uh, filling okay. I'm talking about. Strawberry, right. blueberry, if brown sugar, cinnamon, pick. or s'mores. s'mores. I yeah. love the brown sugar frosted, I'm going, but I'm going strawberry say, for him. I'm going to say s'mores for Eric. I say strawberry for Eric. Uh, I think I'm, after speaking to him this morning, I'm going with s'mores. I'm going to go with blueberry. Right. That wasn't Boobie. an option. Yeah, it was. It was. He was like, Sam, I'm just going to make up one. I would actually go with cherry. If they had mm. that. But they don't have that. That's, that's not on the list. list. Cherry so, so, frosted. That's the only one I've ever had. But that was really? on the list. That's but not on the list. I've never had any of those. So we have to go well, strawberry because it's closest to cherry. If no. I picked one, I'd pick strawberry. Strawberry. Oh, I don't like, yeah. I don't like chocolate pop-tart. for breakfast. Like, for breakfast, chocolate's weird. Really? Oh, it's, I got like more like fruity, like fruity pebbles. Mm-hmm. You've got to try the the brown like sugar cinnamon. Things. Oh, it's oh the best one. It's, yes. the, it's the best. Hands down. That one and um, strawberry. Apple cinnamon oh. is the bomb one. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. a good one too. Good. Cherry it is. frost is good. Okay, okay we're doing okay. if you know, you know. Teeth would fall Facts out. about each other. Let's see how well the other ones know each other. Is that the last one for Eric? Last one for Eric. Yeah. Um, so what is Eric the most afraid of out of all these? A heights, B needles, C spiders, or D clowns? Out of all of those, what is he most afraid of? Hmm. Spiders, needles, clowns, or heights? Spiders, needles, clowns, or heights? I don't know, Eric. It's, a t- it's, it's between <laughs> heights and needles for me. I got heights for I'm gonna say. I'll go heights. I'm going to say needles. I'm going heights. I'm going heights. Even though you live in a high rise. I know, but he doesn't like to be uh, like out there suspended. Yeah. But he'll yeah, live okay. in one. Kevin, what do you say? God, I, I it's such a toss up. I gotta I go with needles. Yeah, I, I, I saw him get one, but that doesn't mean he likes them. Needles, spiders, oh. clowns, or heights? What is the answer? Needles. I hate. Yeah. Yes. 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 Needles right. are the worst. Kevin remember, got a point there. Getting, Kevin has I remember two when I was ten years old, the doctor told my dad. We're going to have to give him a shot. And I went back in the corner, little fat Eric. <laughs> and I, I, I took my glasses. I threw them off. I went. <laughs> <laughs> and I pushed. And then I remember the guy grabbed me threw me oh over. Oh, gosh. Because he shot me in the butt. Ooh. Oh, stabbed in my geez. butt. Oh. oh, he did it. <laughs> a stabbing motion. Yeah. Traumatized. Oh my God. Because I like, tried to hit him. I swung. I remember his glasses off. You punched the doctor? I ripped my glasses off. I Good turned grief. into the Incredible Hulk. Good grief. <laughs> you just right, if you know, you know, we're going the around the table. Yes. Kevin's next. <laughs> Special K Three facts next. about Kevin, then we go three facts about Sam. Right. If you know, you know. All right. Special K. When it comes to your bagel, would you rather, oh, excuse me, would you rather have plain, everything, garlic, or something else? Hmm. 
Mm. Right. Is he basic? That's I'm basic. saying he's doing something else. I'm going, it's about what he's putting on the bagel, I, yeah, not the actual you didn't, flavor you didn't put of the cream bagel cheese stuff. on that, and I've seen bagel. him do cream cheese. I'm thinking plain's classic. I'm going to do plain for him because he's going to top it with something. Hmm. Yeah, I is go that, plain. Yeah. But if he's going to top it with something, then you would choose something and else. Never seen the, yeah. No, the actual everything. bagel is the is everything bagel, onion bagel, oh, plain bagel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got you. Then yeah. plain. Yeah, I changed my name. I go, I go. Oh, my answer. Yeah. <laughs> I, I changed my name. My name is John say, now. Sam? <laughs> you eat the most with him, Sam. I don't. I don't know this answer. I'm going to do everything because I like everything well, I, bagel. Oh, everything bagel. I don't know the answer, but I do know it would be all over his face. It would, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the cream cheese would be everywhere. Yes. So what's the answer, Special K? I want some cream cheese and jelly up on that plain bagel. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. All right. Plain, plain, plain. But you said everything, Sam, so you don't get a point. Right. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He's you BFF off. didn't I'm, get the point. Isn't it the worst when you're game. picking out a bagel and you want a plain, but it's right next to the cinnamon and, oh, it's a yes, taste and you taste, taste, that. taste a little it's bit of the worst. cinnamon oh, on it. Or the cinnamon's cinnamon bagel next to the garlic. Next to the everything bagel? I'm like, no. thanks for that onion powder on yeah. my cinnamon. Yeah, Okay, next question for Special K. All right. How often does Special K check his horoscope? A, daily, B, monthly, or C, never? Daily. I'm hoping never. Never. I'm going to say <laughs> never. I'm going to lose a little He's respect superstitious. For him I'm going to say He's daily. so against that type of stuff. Never. I'm going to say monthly. I'll say never. Unless somebody offers him the information, he won't seek it out. I yeah. say never. Never. Answer? I have never really checked my heart. No. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> glad, I'm glad I was wrong on that. Yeah. Good. Because you know if he did, he would like... Follow I'd probably, it. yeah, I'd probably talk about it. Today, it's in my stars. <laughs> that my career will take a turn. In my stars, it tells me that my wedding coordinator will be sick on my wedding day. Oh, no. but the Kevin, stars aligned that Would you not such. say you're a very malleable person? Like, in other words, you, you latch onto something. It's just like when we sent you to a psychic, you didn't believe, but once you met with that person, all of a sudden you believe. She's speaking truths to me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. She's all right, last question me. about Special K. All if right. you know, you know, before we get to Sam's. So, as a little kid, was Special K's comfort item A, a blanket, B, a stuffed animal, or he didn't have one? Hmm. Mm. Mm. I want to feel like I have heard him talk about such a thing. Little Stevie. It was a pillow, like an old Stevie. yucko mm. pillow that's all smashed down and yellow. He looks like he... <laughs> <laughs> so would that be a stuffed animal? Then? I'm going to say stuffed animal. Yeah, he looks like he'd have a stuffed animal yeah. as a kid. Yeah. He'd yeah. his he probably vibes. had the big ones, too. Like, yeah. Like Daddy, I want full. the large one. Yeah. Yeah. He was like a loving <laughs> of pony. some sort. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say stuffed animal. Stuffed but stuffed I don't really animal. think he had anything. I'll go blanket, because... I don't feel stuffed animal, but I feel like it was something. He probably had like lovey. an anchor, like his dad, grandpa. Oh, lovey. Uh, heavy anchor. <laughs> so, so, just what, Ryan, what's your answer? <laughs> Gavin? Ryan, wait, wait, what's your answer? I, I said stuffed animal. Stuffed animal. Said, okay, I'll go blanket. Y'all say stuffed animal. Yeah. What's the answer? Dusty was the name of my little stuffed animal dog. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Do you still Yay, have Dusty? got one point. No, he's been lost. Oh, Dusty oh that's McAllister. so sad. Yeah. All right, Dusty Sam. Little Dusty. All right, okay, let's go, Sam. Three things about Sam. Let's see how All right, let's see if I know the answer. All right, in school in general, did Sam always sit in the front? Middle or back, back. of the class. Back. back. D, she never showed up. Back. <laughs> but when she was there. Unless the teacher made her back. sit in the front, I say back. back. There was a couple teachers that made me sit in the front, but I definitely was in the back. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Easy. Yeah. Kevin, did you also say that? Oh, back? yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you yeah. doing the little like quad, the quad thing where it's like oh, yeah. one, two, origami. Three, do you want to live in a mansion? Are you yeah. going to marry oh, someone yeah, that, that has thing. brunette little, little, hair? Open the corner. Yeah. Mash. Okay. Okay. Mash. Next okay. one. If someone is bringing a pack of white claws, is Sam going for black cherry, lime, mango, or watermelon? Oh, Kevin has an advantage on this one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I think Kevin's going to get it right. Lime, watermelon, you... black cherry, or mango? Yes. Ooh, that's I'm going to say black up. cherry. I'm thinking mango or black or cherry. I would prefer black cherry, black but cherry. I think she's more of a watermelon or mango girl. Yeah, I could see mango for some reason with mm. her. But... Watermelon going... or mango. All right, I say black so cherry. What do you say, Rilla? I'll go watermelon. Watermelon. I'm going Eric. black cherry. I like black cherries if I had to have one. She's going with whatever's left in the bottom of that cooler. <laughs> 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 <It's brown laughs> <ice cream. laughs> but what would be your first pick, Kevin? Lime. Okay, what's your pick, Sam? It would either be lime or mango, but I wrote down mango. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay, so who, nobody got a point on that. Nobody said mango. Nope. All right. All right. All right. All right, last one. When Sam is listening to music, is she suff- excuse me, shuffling through her liked songs, a specific playlist, or an album? Oh, she's a mother now. She's just listening to whatever comes on. <laughs> <laughs> when she works out, though, like when she does she the gym. No, I'm out. saying playlist. She plays like a gym playlist. Yeah, if playlist. you work out, you're going to pick a playlist. But the three answers were what? Whatever's uh, her on. Playlist. Songs that she liked, uh-huh. uh, her, a specific playlist, or an album. Mm, I say no, no, I don't say Playlist. Album. Maybe playlist that playlist. she used to have. I mean, she doesn't have time now. To I mean, isn't one. a playlist a song you like? 
No, it's two different ones. Like, like yeah. it's a collection hot of all hit. your favorite yeah. songs that you need to put in a playlist. Well, no, playlist can be like hot songs on the Hot 100, yeah. uh, workout hits, stuff like right. that. And like yeah. songs yeah. is like you uh, saved it. Devin, what do you pick? You're the last one. Yeah. It's a toss yeah. up between those two. She wants to go with something easy where she pushes one button. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's why I say playlist. That's sorry, I've been developed by somebody else. So you yeah. Yeah. Do we all say playlist? Are we all saying playlist? Yeah, and Sam? <gasps> playlist. Yeah. 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 Playlist. I don't know how many people got how many points, but. It's a hot mess here. I don't know, that was a, I don't know any Wait, of these. Hey, you know what? It's an exercise. We're getting to know each other better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Playlist. See you at uh, the gym, maybe. Uh, watch your Instagram. <laughs> Coming up next, <laughs> you could stay in Barbie's dream house. Oh, yeah. my God. Real. Airbnb what? is making this happen. We'll give you the scoop on it next on The Rule and Ryan Show. Movies, music, TV, and all things Hollywood. Ruan Ryan's Celebrity Scoop on KRBE. Uh, how can you win $10,000 this summer? First, let's start you off by telling you that at 820 this morning is your first chance of the day for the summer of 2023. We're at 820, 120, and 520. We give you a chance to become a finalist for 10K, which we award at the end of the summer. Uh, your gift pack today is a 4th of July prize pack. It's a $100 Kroger gift card, a $100 gift certificate to get some fireworks from Top Dog, and a charcoal grill. 820 this morning, we'll give you the special keyword to text us. We call you back if you're texter 104, and you're a finalist for $10,000. Nice. Nice. All right, so the Barbie movie is coming out July 21st. You've probably seen a lot of promotion for this. Margot Robbie, Ryan Gosling, and friends. And Airbnb is getting in on this game. They're posing it as Ken hosting two free one-night stays for two guests at Barbie's dream house. Life is a dream house. All right, so here's how it goes. Ken says, welcome to my Kendom. While Barbie is away, she has handed over the keys to her Malibu dream house. Mm -hmm. And I've added a few touches to bring some much needed Kennergy. Uh, Ah, It's a three-story bright pink house in Malibu, California. The listing is just for two guests. It's a one-bedroom, one-bath. But it's three stories. It's not like it they has an outdoor this disco dance floor. Wow. Has an infinity pool with the floats that spell out Ken, a balcony with an ocean view, and a Wild West themed room called Kendom Saloon. But you can only bring one guest? Yeah, it's just well, two that's, guests. That's you not will, fun. You'll get your own yellow and pink Impala skates and surfboard, and the listing goes up July 17th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Airbnb is making this a one time thing. The donation, and your money is a donation to save the children. Well, that's a good cause, but I mean, if you're gonna stay in this house, which, by the way, was not, that's not where it was filmed or it, anything it like that. It is a super bright pink house. I mean, it is It's insane. just somebody had a really nice house. They decided to paint, you know. It, it is legit paint the Barbie dream house. make it look house. like Barbie. If I could show you all this, because it's well, not you can, you can only bring one person? I mean, that's that sucks. That sucks. But I mean, I don't care if it's in the movie or not. I this mean, is if you're unbelievable, in the Barbie, like, this right. house. It's a cool it would be incredible. Place. It yeah. would be incredible. It would be the perfect, like, Instagram picture It's two guests, one bedroom, one one so private guys, bath one in that entire you structure. you want to bring like a couple of friends or something? No. No? But I would not bring my husband, I don't think. I don't think Who he would, would you enjoy it as much. Who would you bring? Who would be a plus one? Her BFF girlfriend. Yeah, Jules. 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 For sure. Are dogs allowed? I don't think. No, it's your best friend Misty can go with you only. Oh, Misty would have so much fun in a Barbie house. If there's a tub, guy. Jules is there. <laughs> <laughs> you take your husband. Not your husband? I don't think he would love the Barbie house. It's like a bucket house. list. <laughs> Unless Mark would let me dress him up as Ken, and See? then I could dress um, up as Barbie. He would not be cool with that. I'm going to try it this year for He Halloween. would not be cool with that. Oh, I think he'd probably says, stay. I think he'd probably rather stay home and watch the baby. I think so too. Like, probably. You have fun, babe. You deserve this. Uh, leave me alone. Just get out. Ken <laughs> says, according to the Dream House description here for Airbnb, once you've arrived and checked in, our concierge will ensure a comfortable stay for you and your guests, including showing you around. And setting out and arranging all the meals. Um, you know, guests are responsible for their own travel to and from Malibu. It's privately owned and operated. But <laughs> Ken says, during your stay, you'll take a spin through my awesome wardrobe to find your best beach fit. Look out, Barbie. I've got quite the closet, too. Channeling your inner cowboy and learning a line dance or two on my outdoor disco dance floor or performing a sunset serenade on my guitar. Challenging your fellow guests to a beach off oh, with plenty cute. of sunbathing and chillaxing by the infinity pool. And taking <laughs> home a piece of my kendom with your very own set of yellow and pink impulses. Well, it sounds awful because you're a dude. I mean, yeah, you know, what would be the male of I'm bringing special cat. Wait, yeah. my 12 year old daughter is Ken. visiting today. Um, Sam, let's get this up. Let's get the respect for who this is actually for. 12 year old Alexandra, you see the dream house on mommy's computer screen. Would you want to stay there? Sort of. 
What? Sort of. You don't think it's amazing? Look at that pool. It's amazing. It's cool, but there's an ocean to go swim in. Right? Yeah. Why do you need a pool uh, when you have an ocean? You don't get stung by a jellyfish it. there. Yeah, you can just be in the pool looking at the but ocean. That water in Malibu is like 60 degrees. It's a little bit cool. See, like wet I'm, suit. I'm, I'm sure of... Barbie and Ken have a wetsuit in there. No, that's yeah. true. If like if like if I had a house in Galveston, I would need it to have a pool so I could be in the pool looking at the view, oh not actually gosh. in the water at Galveston. Oh, yeah. But if it was like a beautiful beach that's clear, I want to be in that water. But in Galveston, I love Galveston as the view, not yeah. the water. Well, what are, you, what are you saying about a poor G Town? They're getting a short end of the stick in no, the water. No, G Town knows. I love my I love Galveston, but I'm I, sorry, I like a hundred times it. have I'm said not a big fan of. Jumping. I'm happy it's close to us. I like the. The, the access. Some guy died but like two weeks ago. I don't want to be in the water. Right by where our place is. From what? Riptide. Riptide took oh, Riptide him out. Riptide took him out. It was like a 38-year-old guy God, with his two sad. kids. Oh, I remember yeah, that. That's so sad. Yeah, that's Again, so sad. Again, safer in the infinity pool looking at the ocean. They didn't send me any. You think they would send a, a, warning? a note to everyone saying or an email saying, like hey. Like your HOA newsletter? Hey, just let you know somebody died there. Yeah. Like, nothing. That's kind of scary. Life in the dream house. All right, it is brought to you by Duncan. We have a massive heat warning until 9 p.m. Not going to lie, it looks like a high of 102 today. Heat index is going to make it feel like it's 110. It's going to be horrible. NASA, we love NASA. Hometown right here, NASA. They've announced that now they can turn 98% of urine into drinkable water. They developed this technology for extended space flights. But we've already done something like that. Don't you remember a couple years ago? Don't we have the camper filter system that you drink yeah. your own pee? Yeah. I had to do it, remember? Gosh. I think it was my punishment. It's I had to drink my own pee. It's not sound appealing. Yeah. Yeah. You got to do what you got to do when you're desperate, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, if I was cold. stuck in, the, in space and I was very thirsty and they gave me the proper tools, I'd probably go for it. I mean, what else are you going to do? Yeah, you're going to die? die? Oh, I can't drink my... Uh, nobody's going to... I'm so shamed. I'm shaming myself to death. I'd rather die than drink this, even though NASA... Oh, no. The geniuses at NASA told me they can turn it into water. if you're up water. there doing that and everyone at Mission Control is watching you, and they're all like, oh, gross. Oh. Yeah. Not, saying, <laughs> not having it right from the tap. Imagine I mean, they that's filter it. Space Force. What was that? TV show? Yes, oh, Space yeah, Force was Carell. so funny. Is, some of it is pretty funny. It was, some of it was. Very silly, though. You have to be into silly things. It was that. silly. Uh, we talked about this a little bit in the beginning of the show. Uh, airline expert AirHelp has tabulated a list of the world's worst airports when it comes to summer travel. Intercontinental, number two in the nation as far as the second. It's the second worst in the nation. The only one that was worse was Las Vegas's Harry Reid International Airport. They topped the list. Dallas had uh, DFW and Love Field. They were the eighth and ninth worst airports in the country. But, yeah. Listen, my my stomach turns when I land in a new airport and I find out I have to take some kind of a metro or tube to get to the next terminal. Or it a bus. It makes me crazy. I'm like, ugh. Uh, Atlanta. You know, not, that's how Vegas <laughs> every, is, too. Every time. Right? Vegas, you, you know, well, Vegas the you got to get on a train tram thing to get oh, you to your yeah. right terminal. Vegas is the worst airport That's why I stress out because I could run as fast as I can if Orlando, I'm late. Orlando, but you're at the mercy that. of Denver. that tram. Right? Denver is also? Mm-hmm. Ugh, ugh. The fun part about Vegas is watching the people. Going that just landed, and they're smiling. They're all happy. Uh-huh. Watching those people uh-huh. going uh-huh. home, and they're they're all depressed, broken, and quiet. Uh, <laughs> hungover, it is the money. quietest yeah. ride home. Listen, Party's my sister, over. My sister, who's a flight attendant, when she first started her flight career, she had to do Vegas trips, and she said going to Vegas is the biggest fun party plane you've seen. The Vegas outbounds. Oh god, not so fun. Alcohol coming through their pores. Yeah. Everyone's oh, devastated. Wow, I know what they, you drank last they're night. They're coming home with something they didn't go to Vegas with. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> They've given up that their Vegas. house deeds and the craps table because they thought they were on a lucky streak. <laughs> it's like really devastating. All right, coming up next, it's Try It Tuesday because today's Tuesday and we try things. So what are we going to try today? It's not so torturous. It's I something promise actually you guys, tasty. I'm bringing you something good, something that you mm. can get at your local Walmart. So oh, we're going to okay. try these Give things. Give me that... something good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Usually it's something gross, but I think I think we'll all enjoy this today. I'm hoping. Oh, we're really on a sugar high bouncing off the walls. Yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> okay, next okay. on the Rule and Ryan Show.